Comfort One study was a North America Australia trial. It was a one to one between ruxolitinib and placebo. The Comfort Two study was a two to one randomization in Europe between ruxolitinib and best available therapy. So the physicians could choose their therapy, which primarily ended up being in practice hydroxyurea or oral alkylator therapy. In both studies, it was found that ruxolitinib was vastly superior to both control arms for improvement of splenomegaly and improvement of symptoms. The placebo group had only one patient that had a splenomegaly response. That was an individual who had had a splenic infarct and was in a real response. In the best available therapy arm in Comfort 2, there were no responses. So showing that both groups of control, either placebo or a quote-unquote best alternative therapy, neither one were very effective. Indeed, we did an analysis comparing both of those two groups and found that neither group really had a significant benefit in reducing the symptoms of illness and neither agent or neither group really had a significant improvement in the splenomegaly with the uh, disease as well.